I came right back to this same spot I was at just a couple of days ago because uh, some of the uh, comments uh, were asking some specific questions about how deep some of these cracks were, how wide the cracks are, and some of the, uh, I guess the mud pods, I guess, uh, how big they were. So we came out to get some measurements. Uh, we'll show you that, and then we're gonna check down uh, closer to the lake and uh, see if, uh, what difference that makes. So let's go. dried up. Uh, I believe that's from fish uh, when the water was up. Uh, based on my fishing trip out here, the fish would just kind of hover in that area and flipping their tails around is what caused that. There's one that's kind of small, still a little damp on the bottom. And you can wiggle it. I think I've wiggled it loose, but uh, yeah, they're not completely stable. As we get closer to the water, what you see is just right there. The cracks aren't near as big, and they're not as deep. It's about 11 and a half inches. All right, you guys, we just wanted to come right back out here just to take a look at the uh, cracks specifically. A lot of folks have had some questions about how big they were, how deep the cracks were. Uh, so I hope we can represent that well enough for you. Uh, we're gonna keep coming back out here, keep track of everything. So if you're interested, keep coming along and we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> 